Hello, hello, hello. Hey, hey. man, how you doing? Good, how are you? I am doing well. Feeling uh, feeling quite festive on this uh, October Thursday night. How about you? Uh, doing great. Getting ready for a uh, conference I'm going to tomorrow. So just kind of checking things out, getting some uh, swag or some tchotchkes, if you will, to hand out to be a lot of PACT members and KTIs there. So. Yeah, well, you know, I, I was more talking about the fact it looks like you're getting ready for no shave November or something. What's going on with that, man? You got a, got a great Practice, look going. Practicing the uh, – trying to get a new look. Every winter I try something different, checking it out. Ease up on the just for men, man. Make You got to make the mustache match the goat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Hey, uh, life life in uh, Western PA going. Looks like the Steelers got things on track a little bit. Things going a little better. We'll see. Uh Big game coming up this weekend. Okay. Who do you guys have? The Dolphins. Oh, that's right. Oh. Prime time game Sunday night. Oh, man. I don't know. We got to figure out what we're going to be doing. I know. Got to, got to, the, the, I, I, you know, and I don't think Tua is back for this one. I think he's back for the next one, right? I don't know. He might be back for this one. I'll tell you what. I'll bet my mustache against your beard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a very – even, even, yeah, yeah, it's a one. It, for it took one. a while 100%. to get to get this going. <laughs> yeah, your wife is so happy to see it go, right? Yes, it's been on there too long. Uh, I'll even go back to that. contacts. <laughs> I think we'll have to wear some kind of a dolphin shirt or a Steelers shirt. We'll have to go hit, you know, have to hit the uh, community aid or whatever. And we'll have to buy a the other person's shirt to wear on the pod next month. I think. So, sounds good. All right. Okay. All right, I think that'll a little be secret. Worried. The eyebrows are mine. But we just waxed the middle part, but the <laughs> eyebrows are actually not part of the. Got rid of that's the yeah. That's the one big. Uh, so funny story about that is um, the the Verno family. Um, we met people in New York. We didn't realize we were related to. Um, there was Vernos in New York. We just didn't know there was a family feud many years ago, and uh, so we went to this huge summer picnic. And as we were walking up, they looked out. And they went up. Oh, He's got the Verno brow. He's one of us. So it's, yeah, I, I, I make sure it's, it's separated, but back in the day it wasn't. So yeah, the one major Verno Italian trait that we hold. Yep. So yes. So I respect I always, your brow separation very much. So I always say, you know, I may only have one brow, but it's never crooked. <laughs> That's good stuff. Well, you know, all right. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, but I think uh, it's a good time to roll into our tech notes. What do you think? I think that would be a good idea. All right, here we go. All right, Dom, we'll give you the floor. Let's go ahead and have you share. I love the sneak peek I had of uh, seeing what Dom's going to be sharing today. I went old school. Oh, it is not as old school as I. Ooh, hide that, no. hide that scary screen of those guys on there. <laughs> I don't know why. In the back end. Oh, they're seeing the back end. Look out. Why it's not just doing my uh, one back screen. end's better than the back side. I think you just have to <laughs> minimize that, minimize that one screen and maximize your other one. Because I think you have the the screen being shared, not a window. Yeah, let's try this. The, the... Stop screen. Let's go to present. So anyway, as I get there. It's like it's been 30 days since we've done this. I know. <laughs> there we go. Chrome tab. Oop, there it is. So try this again. There we are. Oh, Free man. technology for teachers. This site has given me many, many resources for many, many years. And we were talking about, you know, Halloween and the theme coming up. So I Googled Free Tech for, Te Free Tech for Teachers, which is the website, Free Tech, numeral four, teachers.com. Halloween, and they had all kinds of Halloween-themed lessons. A lot of them are geared towards middle school and 
elementary school, but they're easy to adapt to the upper grades, which I teach high school history. Um, you know, click here. All the stuff is free. You can click on it. They have the hyperlinks out to other activities and resources. Um, and you're creating videos and can animated videos in Canva. Um, Halloween reading, which has the collection of Halloween theme articles, K to eight audience, a few for nine to 12. Um, pumpkin dice, latte challenge, Jack lantern, Google slides, science videos, traditions, the dark arts of Halloween math. They go hand in hand. Um, as I always like to call mathematics because it confounds me. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, but they have all kinds of stuff here and they're easily adaptable and they're free, which is the key. Um, I always pull great ideas off. I am a firm believer in sharing ideas, borrowing ideas. You know, why reinvent the wheel when you have access to things that are already made, already been proven. You just have to tinker with them and add, uh, you know, adjust them to your students, make them a little personalized for your classroom. And I'm a firm believer in that. And free technology for teachers is such a site that you can do that. So yeah, I'm going to stop sharing and let you take the floor. Up just one second. Let's go ahead and let's pop this on here. Should have been on it a little quicker for you. So free tech, the number four teachers.com. Yes. Yeah, I definitely been Richard, Richard Burton. He's awesome. He does some great videos, breaks things down. Um, yeah, you're, there's never, or there's definitely never a lack of information on his site. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Um, yeah, his newsletter, great to check on. I know our inboxes get filled up real fast. So, yeah, so I, I felt like I was kicking this old school. And uh, so we'll see. I know Dom's reaction. He wasn't, wasn't too familiar. But back in the day, one of the most popular um, – magazines for teachers was the mailbox magazine and i know i had a subscription to that and it would come in the mail at the beginning of the the month or at the tail end of the prior month and give you different things that you could check out so um and their feature we'll go ahead and click in to check it out then but uh it's it's a nominal fee each year that i gladly give them but you can go just if you want stuff for november you, you click on it if you're thinking ahead just going through and it just has your 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 writing things, you know, gobbles and giggles, writing cards, just a lot of different interactive mini charts. So I know you have um, uh, the different, uh, trying to, I'm blanking on the, the website, the um, where teachers pay teachers kind of a thing, yes. but this is a site where people are kind of putting their stuff in here and you're paying for the magazine, you're paying for a yearly subscription, but you're not having to pay for everything individually. Um, but a lot of stuff, they cover all the different curricular areas um, even down here, the whole section of $5 ebooks just for Halloween. Um, so that's just the November look ahead, but we're going to click on October since we're talking about tech or treats and kind of just going through and just seeing the different things that are Halloween themed, you know, rounding decimals, pulling in spotlights for social studies, just, just different items that are here, you know, fall card maker. What I love is with a subscription, you get these gold features. So I was, I'm able to go in and, and mainly focus on my math and take and create basically folders. So I kind of got to look at the different chapters, the different curricular things that I'm using. But what I like is when I'm able to go in here and pull stuff up. Uh, so we do a lot of rotation work and I want to make sure what I'm doing for the kids is hands-on. I don't want to have them, you know, using a computer screen. So here they're doing the math, they're coloring the pies based on the fraction answers. So it's just getting them, you know, breaking out colored pencils, crayons. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it has them cutting things out, gluing, It'll give you your grade level, you know, all your information here, what everybody thought. You know, you can print it out. You can do a whole thing. Like, you know, you, you kind of save them in a little booklet, you know, print them all out. Um, and I just love the ability to hop on here um, and get your different items. Again, um, just going in, they do have like a freebie section. So if you just wanted to check it out, um, you can go ahead and just, you know, see what they have just to kind of like, you know, dip your toes in the water, see yeah. what some of the different activities are. Um, like I said, this was a very... Uh, infamous for educator magazine, you know, back in the back in the, the uh, late nineties, I will say. And um, you know, we used to have you know, I used to pay for the subscription to have it delivered and you kinda would chop it up and they had like the the, 
fold outs for bulletin boards and things like that. But they do have bulletin board ideas. So, so the mailbox.com is the website. Um, and you can go ahead and pay for a subscription there. And let me click here. Let's see. Add a subscription. It'll give out my information. So I'm going to buy a subscription for everybody viewing. Probably we'll see how this works here. Do -do. Wait a little bit. All right, so there's your different levels, you know, from preschool all the way up to intermediate school, $29.95 for a year subscription. You know, very minimal for the different items you're getting. Yeah. Um, and, again, you're able to print some stuff off and share it with your colleagues down the road. So I definitely think it's something worth checking out. So the Mailbox Magazine. Um, and just to add something separate. So PACT is a state affiliate of ISTE, and there are many state affiliates of ISTE. Uh, in one based out of Texas, it's a pretty big one. TCEA. Yes. They did put out a s'more uh, free TCEA membership this week only. So we're on Thursday, you know, catching it kind of close. Normally it's a $50 membership fee. They're waiving it. Um, and so this, they have some phenomenal things going on there. It's, it's a rather big organization, um, a little bigger than PACT. And just some of the things like PACT does their local events. We do some PD stuff. All the different regions do some great stuff. So you know, I, I belong to the Maryland organization. I pay for that membership. Um, this one, you know, I was re able to re-up for my free. I was ready to pay for it this year. Get on their website, you know, just t tcea.org. Uh, and you're able to go in and click on here to sign up for free. And they have a lot mm -hmm. of really great stuff. A lot of great educators down in that area. So, you know, I, I just encourage you to check out yeah. a lot of the ISTE affiliates, just like PAACT. Yeah. Nice know. Skate's another one that's free. Yep, nice gate up in New York. Yep, you get a free membership there. And um, they even have an event, you know, their conference up there kind of a thing. And, um, yeah, so some, some exciting stuff there. And the cool thing is, again, networking branching out. Uh, this year we've got ISTE in Philadelphia. So members of TCEA will be there. Nice gate will be there. PACT, MSE, MSET is the Maryland group. ICE out of Illinois. Um, a lot of the different, you know, uh, groups, NCCE, I do some training with them. That's another ISTE affiliate that works in the Northwest. So a lot of great organizations connected with ISTE and it's all about doing great things for educators. So, you know, definitely if you're, you're looking for another avenue to pull some different resources in, I definitely would, you know, TCEA, you can't go wrong with free membership. Yeah. So I'll hit you with a pay and I'll hit you with a, a free this week. <laughs> So many jokes, Tom. I'm going to stay away from them because it's, it's, it's time to thank our jokes. sponsors. <laughs> oh, what were you going to say about dad jokes? The dad jokes. That, that's my wheelhouse. <laughs> Cheesier the better. That's it. When I was I was walking through the uh, the lobby at my daughter's high school, and I heard there was kids there that were greeting people when they were coming and make sure they knew where they were going. And she made a reference about a bad dad joke, and I just turned, looked across the lobby. I'm like, is there even a thing? as a bad dad joke. And she just started laughing. I just kept walking, you know, it was just it, but it needed to be said. Yes. All right. Well, let's thank our sponsors. We truly appreciate all the corporate council members, the venture sponsors that PACT has, and also helping to uh, promote and push the PACT bot. So here we go. Every time I go back and try to fix that, I think I make it worse. So I got I to gotta get back in there and fix that. Jeez. You want to use the minus sign to 
to lower the volume, not the plus sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I'm using a product that I'm sure you know and love, PowerPoint, to be able to make it. But I'm going to have to switch it, out to something it, else. Got to go a little beefier. Going back to my English background, it's not more lower. It's just lower. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what happens when like the, the, the music track just overplays itself. So anyway, but even though the music is bad, the sponsors are amazing. So we yes. truly appreciate them. And know they got a lot of things going on at Pete, you know, sponsoring different uh, events. And true, make sure you get to Pete and C dot org uh, to the website. That's P-E-T-E-A-N-D-C dot org. And check out the uh, um, I believe the program is fully uh, rolled out. I think it's on the site now. If not, it's going to be getting out there soon. So that way, when you're going to plan it, you can show your administrators, you know, the different events you're looking to see. And just to give you a heads up. We will be doing a meet and greet at Pete and C. It's going to take a little different yes. shape and form than our normal formal dinner, but we'll definitely be active and present at Pete and C. And we truly appreciate all of you and uh, look forward to seeing you at any of our regional events. And yes. we're looking forward to seeing you at Pete and C. We'll have the booth at Pete and C. Stop by, say hi, see us out and about. If you happen to be, you know, at the conference for uh, English language arts tomorrow in Cranberry Township. Stop by, say hi, and uh, any of the other events, like Eric said, stop by in, give us a shout out, you know, come talk to us. Most definitely. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we truly appreciate all you do for your students. Uh, you're a phenomenal member of PACT, as Dom said, and I reiterate, I love saying that PACT is only as great as its members, and we have some amazing members, so thank you for making PACT what it is. Take care, everybody. See you soon. All right. Have a great end of your October and a great phenomenal start to your November. We'll see you for Thankful for Tech.